Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So let me tell you, if I seem a little agitated during this whole video, let me explain why. This is actually my second time doing this video for my final reviews on the October shoe review, which was the TerraCore Balance Trainer. Noted it right here. So I had recorded it, done the whole thing, edited it, uploaded it, Yes, I uploaded it to my YouTube channel. And then all of a sudden, when I went to post my first video for November shoe review, it said that there was an upload fail. Well, I am partially OCD and when I'm done with the video, it's gone. So I deleted it. So here we are. But anyways, final reviews and thoughts. Let's jump right into it, shall we? I gave it three stars. Here's my reasoning for it. So the reason I didn't give it more stars is because I frankly find it to be a little overpriced and it's kind of limited on what you can do with it. So when I say it's limited, first of all, it's very big. It's very bulky. It's very heavy. You have to, storage is kind of a pain in the butt. If you don't have like a separate, like I turned my garage into a gym, but if you don't have that luxury, you know, because you have to blow up part of it, it's hard to shove under a bed. You can't really put it in a corner because it really, it's an awkward, it looks, it looks like a cream puff. That's like the shape, if you will, but a big, pe a, a big cream puff. So it's like all awkward. Um, the other thing is I found it incredibly dangerous to do any kind of hit, any high intensity workouts. If you tried to like, jump on it, I almost broke my ankle a hundred times. Now, I might not be the most athletic person, but I am an athlete. I played college softball. Like I, I'm, an, I'm a collegiate athlete. I'm an All-American. I feel like I have a little sense of athleticism and like coordination. And I was terrified to use it. I really thought I was gonna hurt myself to the point that I stopped doing hit workouts that involved like jumping or like they want you to do like star jumps and land on the thing. That is dangerous. I don't know. I wasn't a fan of it. Oops, sorry. I wasn't a fan of it. Um, I also don't like the app. I don't think it's worth the um, monthly subscription. I didn't think there were a wide enough varieties of workouts to do. Um, they do have different workouts, but they were mediocre. I thought the, um, you know, one of them was even wrong. I think, I don't even know if I mentioned that. I did a whole video of one and this was my fault because I didn't, I should have pre-watched the video to know what I was getting into. And it said it was an upper body workout. And I went through the whole thing because I kept waiting. I'm like, maybe this is just a warm up. Maybe this is, a, it was a hit workout. I don't know if it was mislabeled. I don't know, I, I don't know. But it was not an upper body workout. The only upper body thing we did was push ups. And it was like, coordinated with the burpee. It was definitely a hit workout. So like, I didn't love that too. I have, I do have other um, like fitness apps that I use, one of which I do pay a monthly subscription for. And I feel like there's so much more variety. Um, yeah. And I guess the other thing I didn't love about it is, you know, if you, I don't know if you've ever used this. I've used this other fitness apparatus since I was in high school without giving too much detail, we're talking about almost 20 years ago, so a long time. They made the exact same thing, but in a round one, right? So like the round side was the like ball material and the other side was flat. And I would, I had a personal trainer because I was trying to get into, I was trying to get a scholarship. So I did tons of workouts with that. It's cheaper, it's lighter, it's easier to store. Kind of feel like you can do the exact same thing in a smaller version. So those are the reasons I didn't love it. Now, if I didn't, if I hated it so much, why didn't I give it a one? It's a, it's a good product. It's a well-made product. Um, I think it actually fits very well for both men and women to work out because even though I complained about the size for storage purposes to work out in, whether you're tall, short, bigger, really thin, like petite, it really doesn't matter. You can definitely use this product in your workouts. There are all, you can also use it in a, a different number of varieties. Now, while I didn't like all of the workouts that they had on their app, you can use it for upper body. You can use it for lower body. You definitely can use it for 
Um, you can use it for a HIIT workout. I don't recommend it, but you can use it for a HIIT workout. So there are, are still options with it. And I did really like the poster board that came with it, which I showed you guys the poster. I actually still have it in my garage, but the poster had like all kinds of workouts you can do so that you don't even have to get the app. You can go ahead and go off the poster. So I do think I'm gonna use it. Um, as I mentioned, this is by far the most expensive product that I purchased for shoes reviews. I'm gonna be real with you. I just tried to look through all my emails to find the order confirmation of when I ordered it and I can't find it to save my life. So I don't know how much I paid for it when I bought it. However, I did just look it up on Google to see what stores it came up with, all of that. You're gonna pay about 200 bucks and that sounds about right. I'm pretty sure that's what I paid. It's still the most expensive product that I have spent money on for this. Now that I've done it, would I spend that much money on the same thing? At this point, I kind of feel like it's for each user. If you're one of those people who really likes new ways to work out, but you get kind of sick of them after a while and you know you get sick of them after a while, this is probably not a good one for you because you're investing a lot of money. Yes, $200 isn't the end of the world. It's not thousands of dollars, but it's still 200 bucks. Like I can buy a cute outfit with 200 bucks. I can spoil my child with 200 bucks. I can fly to Chicago and visit family for 200 bucks. I don't know. I think it's to each their own in that aspect. If you're gonna, if you would, if it's worth spending the money. Now I do see the value in spending the money. I do think they made a quality product. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was terrified that that, that ball part was gonna pop. It said that it held up to like, five or 600 pounds, something like that, like some astronomical number that I will never get to, no matter how many donuts I eat, okay? Not gonna get to it. Um, the steel, you know, the steel bars on it, the plastic, it, it is a well-made product. So I do think they are justified in selling it for the $200 price. I'm just not sure for me personally that I would spend that much money on this particular product. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am not a physical therapist, I am not a dietitian, I am not a nutritionist, I am not a primary doctor, I am not a personal trainer. So if you have any kind of health issues or you have any injuries, I would 100% talk to your doctor, personal trainer, whomever, before purchasing this product and before using this product because you gotta get cleared, okay? And if you're just starting your fitness journey, it, it could be a good option for you. I again think you should talk to your doctor before purchasing it. So I'm going with three stars for that reason. Not quite, I think it's, you know, I think it's made well, I've said that already. Um, but for me, I just, I, I'm gonna use it. I spent the money for it. Like mama's gonna get her money's worth. That's how this game works. So I will use it. Um, I don't think it, I'm still, I don't know if I will ever use it for a hit workout. I don't know if I'll ever be jumping on it, doing any of that, maybe toe touches, that kind of thing. Uh, I find it very, I feel like there's a lawsuit in there somewhere because somebody's gonna twist an ankle or twist a knee or fall and hit their head. Tanya, nothing uh, is, a weapon it's dangerous so if you're uncoordinated I highly do not recommend buying this but I will say you know I would also highly encourage you if you're unsure to and you've already bought the product to do the two-week subscript free subscription for the app and see if you like it I happen to not like it I already unsubscribed I'm out um, but you get two weeks. So if you like it, you can pay a monthly thing or you can pay for the whole year. You have that option. There are lots of workouts. I'm not going to lie and, and tell you something that's not true. There are different workouts with different instructors. They're, you know, they're between 20 and 30 minutes, which I find to be very standard. So I hope you guys, um, you know, if you're looking for a different kind of workout, this could very well be the next the next step for you. But it is an investment, so make sure if you are going to make the purchase to do it, do your research, read the reviews, watch this review. Um, if you go on Amazon, that's probably the fastest way you're gonna get it. You do, it does ship free with Prime. So if you're a Prime member, you get it for free, and it's, I think, just over 200, I think it was 204. So, 
something to keep in mind. You know, we're all getting those Amazon gift cards for Christmas. If you don't, you don't got any friends. And that's okay, no judgment. I don't have any either. So that's all I got for you guys today. Um, for those who have been watching, I have been doing for November the Nourish Max Lip Plumper, Lip Serum. I guess you would say. So I have a couple more of those to post and then I'll be doing my final reviews for that one in the next couple days. So that's all I got for you guys. Thanks uh, for watching this again. I know none of you watched it the first time though. <sighs> I'm bitter about it. But anyways, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions about this shoe review or any questions on a future shoe review or any suggestions for a future shoe review. Please leave those in the comments and I will see you guys at the next video.